Um, we have uh, an email from Hardik. Hello, Hardik. Hey. Who says, Hey, Robbie, I have Open iConnect Access 624W Wireless Router FW... Firmware. Firmware version 624W R0701 open. I want to update my firmware, so I go to http <coughs> la, 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 opennw.com support downloads and get firmware and update it as it says. But after that, the router doesn't work. Lights are on, but it's not giving me ping. I found I can uh, reflash it via USB to serial cable in some form. Um, please tell me how to flash with serial cable or give me a JP1 mm. pin out. Thanks in advance. I don't have good news for you, my friend. Wish I did. Mm. I, uh, I wanted to be sure. I wanted to be absolutely certain because what it sounded like to me is not good news, I warned you, um, that you had bricked that hardware. Which, if you have ever worked with firmwares before, you know what that means is that it seems like you might have jumped the gun on something and uh, and now that hardware is unusable. Oh, <clears throat> Yeah. So, I contacted Open Networks, the manufacturer of your router, and I explained the situation and, and asked, you know, is there anything that we can do for this guy? Because it sounded to me like this thing was just completely kaputs. So, their suggestion... And I'll just say, they got back to me real quickly. So if you're looking at good support, then you know, I like companies that respond to mm -hmm. users. I Makes love, all the difference. Well, yeah, I love Logitech because mm. they've got great support. Great mm. products, too, and they're not a sponsor. I can, just, I can endorse them because I believe in their product and they've got great support. There's something about a company that responds to the users that I really appreciate. So here's a company that... I sent them an email, I explained your situation to them, and they got right back to me. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate that. Uh, and you should too. Because here's what they suggest. They say, chances are that your customer powered down or reset the modem while the firmware update was still in progress. And this was my fear. Uh, it says, even though to the customer it looked like the modem was not doing anything, it was in fact loading the new firmware at that time. The customer probably didn't wait for the modem to restart yet uh, on its own accord which takes about five minutes for that device from the mm -hmm. point the new firmware is loaded. So sounds like you might have maybe jumped the gun, maybe thought, hey, it's not doing anything, I'll try resetting it myself. That's where we might have gone wrong. It says, given the condition that the modem is now in, it is not possible to recover this using a, a console cable. Uh, the, the customer will need to consult point of purchase, so take it to where you bought it, uh, providing uh, that your unit is still under warranty, they will quite possibly replace that for you. I hope that's the case. In the new device. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it says there's a 12-month, there's a 12, 12 one-year manufacturer's warranty, mm -hmm. and Open Networks will replace that for you if it's within that time. That's quite fair. Quite fair. That's beyond fair. Because mm -hmm. there's warnings all over the website that say, if you break it, you bought it. Right. So, and that's usually how it is with, you know, with your firmwares. That's that's the way it works. If you're going to update your own firmware, make sure you 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 do it. I mean, I would. I'll be honest though. Like, I, I'm scared of the thing too. Like, I uh, I put DDWRT on our router here at home, and it scared me because I was I didn't want to brick that piece of hardware. And if the power flash, I've got everything running through UPSs and stuff, so I'm pretty good for that. Mm. But what if something goes wrong? What if my network for some reason goes down and it loses half of the file? So that's a scary thing, and that can happen. And so, unfortunately, that seems to be what's happened to you. Hmm. Not good news. But the good news is that you've got a uh, a device from a company that seems to care about their users. Yeah. So let us know how that goes, Hardik. 